the hot topic is how can we make our students more successful in, in the class? Not only retaining the material, but being able to apply that material to, to their fields and, and to their lives. My role at the, the Student Success Center is basically to facilitate learning, to get folks to engage in the material and to be glad that they're here at the university, um, filled with all these different opportunities, and to engage in the work in a very intellectual way and motivated way. Ideally, we want to uh, be able to work with people and make them successful, make them uh, feel comfortable that they understand things. There's a lot of different things that students can use here. There's the library, which is a really good resource. We have an accounting tutor, a chemistry tutor. How to do MLA formatting, how to do APA formatting. We also have books on that. Physics tutor, um, econ tutors, psychology tutors. We're offering SI, which is supplemental um, instruction for certain classes that have been identified as difficult classes here historically. Women and Gender Studies tutors, technology tutors. How to cite sources in those formats. If you're struggling with a subject and you talk to Deb, she will find you a tutor. So when a student comes in, they are introduced to a tutor and the tutor is supposed to kind of assess the, the situation, welcome the student, encourage the student to be comfortable, and then we try to have a conversation about the writing project. We try to engage the student, what do you really think about this topic and this issue, um, and how can we best get you to express it and articulate that in the writing. A lot of students love it. Uh, I've had students come in telling me that they're failing at the beginning and they need help and very few of them don't pass after they come in for help. Folks can just sit down with a student who has been there and done that and they can um, grapple with this information and be successful in their courses. I um, took a writing class last semester and I did one paper and I thought it was really great and I turned it in and the grade wasn't really what I thought so. For my next one I went over there to the writing center and sat down with the writing tutor, had a one-on-one -on -one experience and work through it together and she gave me a lot of really helpful tips um, and so I was able to apply that to my paper and the future papers and it really helped my grade and helped me become a more successful writer. Everybody learns differently so you can come in to the learning center and if you don't understand what the teacher is trying to tell you I can kind of explain it in a different way um, that maybe will click a little better for you. Some of, the, some of the students we have never had algebra in, in high school, never had to take it, and now they're in the you know, beginning of, of algebra here. Just today, like I had students come in and they're like struggling, said that they struggled with it for hours. They came in and talked to me. I showed them one little thing, and it just made a world of difference to them. Specifically for math, I think the biggest thing for a lot of them is just confidence. Um, many of the students here at Chillicothe are not right out of high school and they're coming back after years of being out of the classroom and, and that adjustment is something that we can help them with too, not just the skills but just the, the confidence that hey you can do this and that we can show you some things that will help you do that. I think that coming into the tutoring center helps people gain confidence and I tell them all the time whenever someone says wish me luck I'm like you don't need it but good luck anyway. <laughs> The Learning Commons is a great area for people to just hang out. It has a flow to it and it just everybody kind of feels like they're a part of it. They're, they're not isolated. It's not like, oh, you're, you're going to tutoring. There must be something wrong with you. You know, it's just part of the whole process and part of the whole community. People come in even if they don't have any work to do just to kind of come in and talk and hang out. It's very relaxed. I went in there and I was really nervous and as soon as I entered they asked me what my name was and what I was there for and they sent me down with a writing tutor and I was I immediately felt relaxed. The Student Success Center does have a really 
laid back environment and I think that's because of Deb Nichols, my director, she's made it very friendly. Tutoring sometimes has this negative connotation um, in our culture and maybe in this area. The way we think of, of tutoring is more collaborative, uh, collaborative learning um, rather than just one person being up here being the smart person in the group telling someone else who doesn't have the skill do A, B, and C. So it's more of a um, give and take. The tutors um, work with you more of an, in a bigger relationship. It's a learning process for both us and the tutor. We just asked the students, was this helpful? Um, you know, did we, did we help you clarify what you were thinking? Um, do you feel like the writing project, uh, the paper itself, do you feel like it's better than when you first walked in the door? And generally speaking, most people say yes. It's just very rewarding when we see people coming back over and over again that they, they feel like they're really helping them. I have students come in all the time, like, thanking me and telling me that, like, they wouldn't have been able to pass if it wasn't for coming into the Learning Center. Being involved with the Success Center really has, has really helped me in the classroom. It's helped me see some of the struggles that students have outside of the class. I just love the look on people's face when they're like, I finally understand. It's, it's fun because they return, they come back, and we have these relationships where we know almost everyone on campus and people know us and um, yeah, it's, it's a good place to be.